Hello everyone, and welcome to an early look at Monster Hunter World coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One early 2018 with PC to follow. Today we have a special look at gameplay for you, so let's jump right in. A monster that's been giving the Research Commission a lot of headaches has shown up again. We don't know exactly what the monster looks like, only that it sent dozens of hunters back in bad shape. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. This here is our current location. What we do know is that it marks its territory with a sticky mucus to keep trespassers out. I want you to head to this area and look for that mucus-like substance. Got it? Alrighty, partner. It's monster hunting time. Oh, one more thing. You're being timed. Good luck. In Monster Hunter World, you take on the role of a hunter in a lively ecosystem. A key part of hunting monsters is tracking down your prey, and to assist with that, every hunter is equipped with scout fly that track monsters sent from clues such as these footprints. The scout flies are responding to the monster's trail. Go get a closer look. Great! The scout flies have locked onto the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. Um, that's not our target. We gotta stay focused on what's important. This here is the Great Jagras, a monster that can swallow its prey whole, almost doubling its size. It is not our main target, however, but it's conveniently heading in the same direction that our scout flies have been leading us, so let's follow it and see what it does. This should work as slinger ammo. You can use it to hit things that are far away. Ah, turns out it went to regurgitate some of that meal to feed its young. Monster Hunter World introduces monsters that can see and smell and hear you. So engaging in stealth is a sure way of getting the upper hand. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. These small Jagras are always on high alert, so our hunter is using sound to distract them so we can move on to continue tracking our main target. The scout flies have picked up the monster's trail. Follow the green light they leave behind. You can also track additional monsters, materials, and environmental utilities. We can see now the scout fly formation is way more dense, indicating we have a pretty good grasp of the monster's trail. If you follow the scout flies to your target, you'll locate it in no time. There! That's the quest target. Now you've just got to take it down. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. The target today is a new monster for the series, called the Anjanath. We see that it is actually asleep right now, and a hunter could wake it and engage in combat here, but the cave is a tricky tight spot, so let's try and lure it into an open area. To accomplish this, the hunter is using a new tool called the Slinger. He's using the Slinger to shoot red pits, which create noise and attract the monster's attention.
Don't forget, you can guard too. The scout flies will hide once the fight breaks out. Don't forget that. Hey, these shrubs look like the perfect place to hide. Monster Hunter World introduces new environmental hazards, allowing you to use the landscape to trap and mount your prey. Red Pit and Scatternut are just some of the ammo types available for your slinger, and each ammo type comes with a unique set of properties. You can use jump attacks to mount monsters. is on the move. Use the scout flies as a guide as you go after it. So lure the monster to destroy parts of the environment that open up new paths. And in this case, we now see some flash flies that, when struck, will create a dizzying flash of light to stun the monster. Now that the monster is enraged, it becomes more aggressive and will chase the hunter incessantly. You can actually use this to your advantage and lure it to another area of the map with more environmental traps. In this part of the map, we can see a rock formation hanging on by some vines. You 
using the slinger's versatility allows the hunter to paralyze the Anjanath and then cause the rocks to fall on the monster, causing massive damage. Every hunter is also equipped with a grappling hook, which can be used to quickly gain higher ground. Mounted the monster. Now's your chance to topple it. And if you're mounting a monster and it knocks you off, you can use that grappling hook to get right back on the saddle. Body damage and scarring are your primary indicators of damage dealt on the monster. You can even sever off the tail of some species. Uh-oh, the great Jagras has appeared once again, and it looks like the Anjanath is not a fan of the competition. Large monsters get very territorial at times. Depending on their temperament, they will either fight or flee. This time, the Anjanath chooses to avoid the encounter with the great Jagras. Hunters can also don different types of mantles, each with their own inherent abilities. The Challenger mantle seen here is a great tool to attract the monster's attention and lure it to another strategic location.
As you can see, the living, breathing ecosystem in Monster Hunter World features its own hierarchy of predators and prey. Look, the monster is almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Limping is one of the key tells of a monster approaching its last breath. As the Anjanath runs away to recover from the hunter's onslaught, the hunter can take this opportunity to return back to camp and formulate a new strategy. You can change your weapons and armor here. Make sure you're always prepped and ready for what comes next. For the final strike, our hunter has traded the great sword for a heavy bowgun. In Monster Hunter World, you craft weapons and armor from materials gathered from your fallen prey, serving a grisly reminder of past battles, whilst giving you attributes related to that monster. Here we can see the fearsome Anjanath armor. Since the hunter was already in combat with the Anjanath, finding it again is very easy thanks to the help from the Scoutfly, who have already locked to its scent. Bowgun is a high-powered ranged weapon. It does a lot of damage and lets you use more powerful ammo. Dodge their attacks. Don't want to take hits like that head on. While the heavy bowgun lets you attack from a safe distance, its defensive options are much more limited than the greatsword. Since hiding spots are scarce in this area, our hunter will have to use the ghillie mantle to conceal himself for a moment. Okay, now's your chance. Hurry up before you... Well, that didn't work so well. With the effect of the ghillie mantle now gone, our only option is to run and create some distance. But thankfully, this map's verticality gives us a quick way out. Meaning you won't be able to move. Utilizing the roaming giant Vigor Wasp, the hunter is able to get the health recovery that he needs.
The rock steady mantle allows our hunter to keep a steady hand whilst firing at the monster. to now shrug off ferocious attacks, it's time for the hunter to unleash some payback with a powerful wyvern ammo. And there it is! Quest complete and a job well done. Alright, you completed the quest! Congrats! Now we can harvest precious materials from the monsters and use those to gear up for our next challenge. Monster Hunter World is coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One early 2018, with a PC version coming at a later date. Make sure to follow the Monster Hunter channel on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with all things Monster Hunter World. Also, be sure to head down to Gamescom, where Monster Hunter World will be playable for the first time worldwide.